Hey guys, it's your boy DevTheBeast here, and welcome to another video on Grounded. In the last episode, we went to the Haze, or to the Haze Lab, uh, cleared that out, found out Dr. Tolly got infected, and so, I don't know, he started having a bit of a breakdown, and yeah. We also came to the upper yard, explored that a bit, and almost got what we need to make the roly-poly armor we had gotten we had gotten the roly-poly parts that we had needed but we needed to get those hanging poopas and we needed to get lint and yeah as you can see I've set up a jerky rack here and I'm hanging some of the poopa and I did get that er I did go out get that and I got some lint we still need to get a lot more but yeah I tried recording a video earlier here's the highlights of it and then that's just gonna be leather yep okay and is it gonna be the same situation yeah to five for 15 let's pray that we can hang it and then two for two on the lint rope or or, no, hold on, I'm reading that wrong. Yeah, you need two for one. Yeah, okay. Then, that's gonna be painful. Thankfully, we can hang the poopa leather. Or the poopa hide. How many more bombardier parts do we have? Nine, okay. I'm gonna go down and fight one, so then we can make two more racks. That video was maybe hopefully less than half an hour in the making but i realized i forgot to have er when i record i can see the i can see obs out of the corner of my eye and i typically have it so i could see my audio and the video game audio going and i realized i had forgotten to do that this morning and of course the one time i forget to do it OBS decides to like sort of freak out and not record any game audio so that's why those clips that you just saw that th that clip those clips if I even remember to add any clips uh, that's why those have no audio because I the one time I didn't check and see if audio was recording it wasn't recording what are the odds of that but yeah uh, we didn't do too much, we just went out, we got Poopa Hide, uh, got killed once or twice by, uh, Ladybird, and, yeah, other than that, we got Poopa, we got, uh, Lint, and then we had gone down, gotten a Bombardier part, for the sake of, for the sake of what? We got a Bombardier part for the sake of creating two more Jerky Racks. So then we can speed up the process of getting, uh, speed up the process of getting the poopa leather. God, I hate that I can't process my own thoughts sometimes. Or at least can't verbalize them. Oh well. Uh, the goal of this video is just to explore the upper yard a bit and we want to try and find a good base site to build our base duh and then we wanted to get the roly poly armor that's actually about it just get roly poly armor find a new base site and just i guess have a good time No matching items, okay. Let me hang some more of these. And then honestly, I think I'm gonna move them a wee bit out of the way, just make it look like, you know, they're actually out to dry in the sun. I mean, I don't know. Think of it like an aesthetic thing. There's absolutely no function to this, but I don't know, just having them, like, laid out. I mean, if they were facing the sun, that would look a bit better. But, oh well. 
they're just out here to dry in the sun. And one of them, now I won't be able to tell which one, uh, will be ready sooner than the others. But yeah, let's just, for now, run up. Because I believe when I was playing with friends yesterday and we talked about how long a jerky rack takes, I believe they one of them looked into it and it said that it takes eight in-game hours. So... We should be able to harvest that before we go to sleep in the game, and then when we wake up in the next morning, we can harvest it again. And then hopefully by that time, we have all the lint we need. Which reminds me, we also need to make a grinder spinning wheel. Nope, I keep pulling up the wrong menu. Spinning wheel. Red ant parts, clay, acorn top, sap, and crude rope. I'm not here for you. I'm not here for you either. Yeah, stupid. Oh shit. Oh shit. I was gonna call him a stupid ass for not being able to climb the hose. I guess I'm the stupid ass. Can I go under? Nope. Good to know. Okay, there's a couple pockets of lint, but there's also going to be hella dust mites. I could just avoid them. They don't really hit their shots. Never mind. Youch. Yeah, Alright. Well. I guess that's what I get for talking shit on them. Okay, we get four bri four bricks for five slurry. So five times thirty. I think we did this math already. I remember the number thirty at least. But five times thirty is one fifty, so uh we could put thirty in. It's thirty times four a hundred and twenty mushroom bricks. That sounds like a lot, but something tells me it may not be. I don't know. Uh, I'm just gonna grab this, put a few more on, wait for one set of lint rope to be done, and then I'm gonna go down, analyze it, and sleep. Lint rope, termite armor, poopa leather, Black Ox Hammer. And no recipes off the Mushroom Slurry. But at least we've analyzed it now. But that Tier 3 Hammer that we just got the blueprint for. That is going... Well, I don't want to say it's going to be a pain. But it's going to be a process to get... Jesus... Yeah, fight each other. Stupid ass la ladybird trying to get on my sack for no reason. I hope I I know that Roly Poly's gonna win. I was gonna say I hope that Roly Poly wins, but I know it will. Alrighty, sleepy time. Our lit rope is done, and we could craft our new armor. Our I was gonna say ladybug. Our Roly Poly armor. Roly poly breastplate. Roly poly leggings. You can be oh, look how beautiful. Look. Such a big difference on the leg plates. The helmet. I look like a freaking gladiator, dude. And then that chest plate. Woo, sheesh. I'm looking good. Maxwell Small's got an upgrade on the equipment. And on the topic of upgrading equipment, uh, let us. We need brittle plating. Everything needs brittle plating, right? Yeah. Let us make some brittle plating. And then we can upgrade our stuff. We can craft brittle plating. Let's just craft it out of the marble shards. 
Because, I mean, we can craft it with sap and grub hide, but let's not do that right now. Especially because we only have a couple grub hide. And then we'll need sturdy plating. Alright. Level 3 leggings, level 5 chest plate, and helmet. Alright. Either double up or 30 and block strength. Let's see. What does the roly poly armor already give me? Does it give me block strength? Uh, it gives me block stun. So, do we want block stun and block strength? I think that could be a good combo. But first off, how do I make sturdy plating? Sturdy marble. Duh, why not? Alright, well. Let's just craft a bunch of these. And we have 29? Okay. Taking the sleek upgrade locks this item into that type and prevents other upgrade types from being chosen. Okay, the way that's worded makes me feel like if I go down this path, we could find, or there might be more. I'm not certain. I'll go down this road for now, because I like the sound of block strength. And then, and then we will... Maybe test it out on something else or just look into it online. But, yeah, we can so far get the stuff up to level 7. And then we need Supreme Plating, which I don't even think we've unlocked yet. Yeah, we haven't unlocked Supreme Plating. And I guess we're good to go explore the upper yard a bit more. I'm gonna save. Especially because I know I'm probably gonna get my damn ass kicked. Especially if where I'm going has more ladybird stuff. But I would be a little shocked if it did. Yeah, new area probably. Let's new soundtrack around. for sure. You are just red ants, right? Fire ant? Oh. Oh, that changes things. There's fire ants now? Okay. I'm gonna go over here. Oh, yeah, you're just hostile off the rip. Or off rip? Alright. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It's a freaking fire ant. I mean, they tend to be annoyingly hostile in real life, too. If I recall correctly, which reminds me that I need to remember to specify that to my friend because yesterday we were talking. He's like, how come black ants are more hostile? Because aren't red ants typically more hostile in real life? I guess we forgot that there is a difference between red ant and fire ant. This is going to be rough. I'm going to save again in the upper grasslands. Interesting. But yeah, I'm going to save again and then see how much health these assholes have because it may be a lot. But also, again, I am venturing into heavily uncharted territory because, again, this was all just nothing when I came here. What the hell? Freaking just purple glowies? Okay, so there's some sort of sciencey stuff over here, that's for sure. And then a cinder block. Bro's got a cinder block just plopped in his backyard. That's not the weirdest thing. I mean, there's all this sciencey shit. A field lab. Nice. Or a field station. Whatever. Some place to chillax. Anything important? No field notes or anything? Okay. Hey, you. You're a red worker ant. You're not even a fire ant. Yeah, you are. Oh, you're a fire worker ant. I'm just a dumbass in red, red worker ant. Unless it actually said that, but I don't think it did. 
Oh my god. Yeah, stop that. Other bros running. You and I are gonna finish this fight, right? No, we're finishing this fight. You're dying. One more shot and you're dead. I know that, you know that. I see you. I still see you. I'm chasing you down. If nothing else, I'm following my trail of arrows to kill you. Yeah. Die. Fire ant parts. Hey. Can I make a fire ant sword or shield or club or something? Probably. That means there's a third ant hill. Or, well, I mean, technically a fourth, because there's the old ant hill, but... That means there's a fire ant hill. Hey! As long as you don't make me sizzle, we're chilling. Come on. Yeah, I was hoping that would happen. Alrighty. What do I get off of fire ant parts? Well... It'll be a moment before I can find out. What do you have for me? Fire ant, leg plates, and helmet. And then also, can I... I feel like there's something I know I wanted to buy. I'm trying to remember what it was. But nothing's popping out at me. I also... What do I need for fiber bandages? Sap and plant fiber. I need to be careful or else I'm going to get my shit zapped. So guess who's saving again? Me. But yeah, I apparently need to be careful before I get my shit zapped out of me. Oh god. I don't even know where I'm going. Oh, it's the other one I need to scale, not this one. Alright. Oh, just get me up here. Don't want to get zapped. Giant calculator? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. What did that say? Did that say embeckoning cell missing or whatever? Because, I mean, it... I know... I saw that that said, like, insufficient something, but, uh... Yeah, I'm begging. Gonna have a look around. Like, hold on, hold on. I'm, yeah, I'm beginning so missing insufficient power. Interesting. Oh, so this is. when you could have a lemon crime instead. Oh, the. Oh. Virgo mentioned the Java Matic. Okay, so this is where we come to make ourselves bigger then. Okay. But first, we need the embiggening cell thing. Can we just bonk? No, that would be too easy. That would be way too easy, wouldn't it? But this is the coffee maker with, you know, apparently, like, the grow big stuff in it. And there's, like, the pizza table in there. That, you know, they, they talked about pizza. Oh, that's awesome. But I mean, all these pizza tables are like busted. We're gonna need a bomb to get in here, aren't we? Yep. But there's some raw science and some other stuff. Is this actually where we're gonna come to turn ourselves big? Or uh, is that elsewhere? I don't know. I also need to actually scale this thing down because I don't have the dandelion top. Come on. There we go. What the hell? It goes up? I don't think that's how that's supposed to work, big man. I tried grabbing onto it. 
There's a way up onto this tire. And there's an entire water system underneath it, really? Yeah, I'm not jumping down there. Even if it's not death, I don't have any water stuff. Don't die. Thank you. And there's another mixer. That's a large mixer, too. Alright. Come on, drop down. I need a dandelion soft. Okay, save again. No, 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 no. I don't want to fight you. Hey, a field lab. I'm gonna get chased there. Get away from me. And some wood. Does that mean there's just gonna be termites here? I actually wouldn't be too surprised. Yeah, this is a whole wood pile. So, I would say it's semi-likely. Yeah, okay, this area is really painful. But, sap. We're chilling. So long as we hide and we craft a bandage and we use it. The more sap we find, the more bandages we can make. The more bandages we can make, the better we'll be here. Get away from me. What is grass seeds? Hey! Get away from me, dude. I'm discovering new shit, and you're just trying to ruin the experience by taking my lie. Ah! Oh! You motherfuckers! All I know, though, is apparently even after gathering sap, we are still a one-shot victim. Meals on wheels. But also, I realize I'm an idiot, and this whole time I've been carrying these healing things. These healing smoothies. Whatever. So let's take a sip of one. I'm awfully close to that ladybird. I'm trying to get away from it. Oh my god, there's hella spider webs here. I'm not taking it in because I'm saving, but this place seems very, like, unpleasant to be at. Oh god. You could just die. Like, you really could. Especially because there's something bigger lurking in here. Bigger than both of us. And you're going to run to it? Okay, fine. Tell me what it is. Oh, God. I found where it is. I found the infamous Black Widow. A Black Widowling? Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Nah. Get over here. I don't have my Mithridatism activated. Yeah, that ant really still wants the smoke. Okay. I'm activating that. You little ch Why are there so many of you? Stop. Am I getting more HP than I lose, or am I just losing and gaining at the same time? No, I'm still losing. Okay, I'm not going to be surprised if I have to respawn. I'm just going to 
see what this bitch is like. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> that was a lot of help. Well, at least I found where the elusive Black Widow hides. Or at least, maybe one of them. I don't know if there's more. I, what happened to my voice? I don't know if there's more. I just know that there's the one. And I didn't even get a chance to fight it because that freaking red worker ant just ruined my groove. Black Widowling. Weak to spicy damage, resistant to stabbing and fresh. Angry, venomous babies that live mostly near mommy in the upper yard. And then Black Widow has no weaknesses and resists everything, really? And then that has four hearts, meaning... Okay, so, yeah, that's certainly a step up from pretty much any... It's even a step up from the infected wolf spider? Okay, this is gonna be a massive fight if we even try and get into it right now legendary killer spider in classic black and red identifiable by the hourglass marking that indicates your time is at hand jesus found in areas of the upper yard drops super spider venom black widow fangs and spider chunks holy and found in areas so that definitely makes it seem like there's more than just the one that we found here and there's just hella spider webs. There's no way there's not another one of those down here. Oh my god, that mosquito that mosquito just sounded like it was in my ear hole. That scared the absolute shit out of me. Jesus Christ. I am genuinely on edge right now. And there's infected shit here. Gonna have a look around. Okay. I was about to absolutely piss myself if that was gonna be like an infected ladybird. I was also gonna be pissed because that would have been annoying to see. Just because of how overpowered I feel that would be. Bit too much? Or like gone a little too far? What is that? A pop cap. Hey, yo. Gunpowder clump? No! Are you telling me we could just full-on make a gun? That's what I'm getting by gunpowder clump. Bro, if we just make a gun, it's GG's for the fucking creatures of this backyard. No way we're smart enough to just make a fucking gun. But I just want to see us make a tiny Glock and blast everything. Uh, that shit would be funny. Cause this area is scary as shit, I'll be honest. Especially cause I know I'm underprepared. So, this is not a... Not necessarily a pleasant place to be. But holy, this... On a different note, this game looks amazing, dude. Let's see what's around here. If you're watching this video and you haven't gotten this game, get it. It is a wonderful game. I, like, I really would insist you get this game. Just try it out at least, because it is great. Also, in way of a scouting mission, I mean, if we build on the rocks, then we could build a base here. Otherwise, I don't think building a base this far out is going to be too good of an idea. Like, but this entire area is dangerous. It's at least got ladybird larva and roly-poly. Well, roly-polies aren't that big of a problem, but, like, there's ladybirds, ladybird larva in this entire upper yard area, so... I guess it's just a matter of convenience. Like, maybe we go over to that statue over there, see what's what it's got in store, and if it seems like a decent area, we could build there, or otherwise... We build our, like, little base somewhere near the action of all the stuff over there, I guess. But yeah, that shit's rough. Like, that does not seem pleasant at all. Before we hit the end of the episode, I want to try and take on one of the opponents that I remember is tougher. We briefly saw one earlier. And that is the 
Black Ox Beetle. Its weak point is its gut. We're not going to really be able... Okay, yeah. It's going to resist a lot of what we try and do to it. But I still want to try and take it on just because we need to take out a couple of those for a tier 3 hammer. And if it seems like it's possible, then I might try and take it on on my own time. You asshole. Yeah, I was going to say, you're not still after me. We will take it on, or then we'll try and take it on once or twice, and if we can't do it now, then I might try and fight it on my own. Oh my, he's right there. Rush trying to charge at me. Oh my god. Rush th hucking rocks and everything. Come on. Piss off the ladybirds. Or just don't get up here. Alright, fine. If you can't get up here, I'll go down to you. Come on, big guy. Oh! Come on. You have so much... Do you have more health than the Black Widow or just the same amount or what? You both have a shitload of health. Come on. Huck a rock. Hit him. Yeah! Double team him. Get him, Ladybird. <laughs> Is that an Orb Weaver here, too? Really? Really? I mean, it seemed like it could be manageable. Aside from its uh, massive health bar, it seemed like we were doing okay in defending against it. So, yeah, I guess maybe in the next episode we can take those on if we haven't already on our own. Otherwise, we just need to explore the upper yard a bit more and find a way to uh, deal with some of the enemies there. Aside from just getting good blocks. Because, I mean, that's easy enough. At least easy to say. Oh, my. Fine, you're going to see me. I'm going to pick another fight, too. But, yeah. I guess that'll do it for this episode of Grounded. We've done some stuff. I mean, yeah, we've been successful in some ventures. But... Yeah, also, the upper yard is absolutely terrifying. But... We'll make do. <laughs> Fuck off. The black ox beetle just went underground? Is it allowed to do that? But... Jesus. Okay. Take a, take a rain check, guys. Or don't. Alright. Yeah. I think that'll do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. It would really mean a lot to me. Otherwise, if you just enjoyed this video, I've done my job. And with that being said, I hope to catch you in the next video, which will more than likely be grounded at this rate. Uh, and yeah. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.